So, I mean, this will probably just be something we touch on kind of briefly, but uh don't know a lot about Sam Raimi. I've always kind of imagined him to be a likable guy. Very likable. From Michigan. Big Spider-Man fan. Um, Did the Evil Dead trilogy. But yeah, I mean, that's how I know him. I, I love the Evil Dead Big trilogy. Big Yeah. Um, the, the original Evil Dead trilogy was fantastic. And uh, the first Spider-Man film and even the second Spider-Man film that he directed were... Second one's excellent. ...were yeah. pretty good adept. I mean, the, you know, they took liberties, but they were they were fun movies. Um, the third one, which I did not see... Uh, but you never saw it. But everyone's told me about it. I mean, they, they just cram... So much shit into it. You have no frame of reference for this conversation. Whatever. You're like a child that wanders into a room. <laughs> Shut up. Um, but, you know, they, they just crammed so much shit into it that they weren't able to finish telling a story. And as Sam Raimi says in this uh, interview, you know, they they really went to, for a summer blockbuster with Spider-Man 2. And they suddenly felt like they had to raise the bar. Well, the, well, the thing with Spider-Man 2 that was interesting, if you watch it, I remember a lot of reviewers saying this, that was like an art house film disguised as well, a superhero yeah. movie. There was a big chunk where Spider-Man is not in it for like 40 minutes. Yeah. He's not in the movie. You know what I mean? So, And there's like a lot of poignant like emotional scenes. And the, my problem with the original trilogy and even uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 is that they were, they were romance films first and then superhero second, which I don't like. That's all our conversation. Um, but what's interesting about this is that well, Ramey said this on Chris Hardwick's Nerdist podcast. Yeah, the main a lot, point. Here. A, lot of, a lot of time, a lot, a lot of times, directors don't even address their past films, or guys like Spielberg don't talk about them, don't do directors' commentaries even. But he comes out and basically says, "I didn't like it. I don't think it came out well." Yeah. And this is the problem. This goes back to Sony and Marvel. Sony pressured him to put Venom to shoehorn him, which he was fucking shoehorned into Spider-Man 3. Yeah. When I first heard that Venom was going to be in Spider-Man 3, I said, well, oh, well, they're shooting 3 and 4 back to back. They have to. Yeah. They can't put Venom, they can't start the black suit, end it, Venom, all in one movie. I said, that's impossible. You know? And But they did it. And it was terrible. Originally, Raimi wanted to do... The story was supposed to be that Sandman breaks out of prison with the Vulture. And he fights the Vulture and Sandman. Because Raimi's an old school Spider-Man fan. And yeah. Vulture's one of the original villains. And that sounds, oh, that's a cool idea. And then that's the backstory. No connection. I'm not sure if he still would have done the bullshit Uncle Ben thing, which pissed me off how Sandman was, he turned Sandman into the killer of Uncle Ben. That really fucking annoyed me. That that showed me, well, you say Sandman was a fan of, Spire, fan of Spider-Man, but he does that bullshit. Whatever. So, the point is that Spider-Man 3 is not a horrible film. It's just very, very mediocre. It could have been, when I came out of the theater, I was like, wow, I feel just like nothing. That could have been way better. Could have been worse, but it could have been way better. And that's a, not just because Spider-Man 2 was excellent, just because there was nothing that really paid off for Spider-Man 3. That one, um, that's one of those movies that, that gets Vonnie all all up in a, in a rage. Annoyed like me? She, it's yeah. really, no, like, as soon as someone, like, starts talking about Spider-Man 3, she goes, that movie doesn't exist, we don't talk about it. And it's not And that, that's, the, that's literally all I've ever heard her I, say. And it. it's not because Peter Parker danced on the street. That's the least fucking concern of that film. Yeah. Spider-Man 3. That's actually her favorite part of that. I was going to say, I didn't, mind, I didn't mind Peter Parker yeah, yeah. acting like a dork, thinking that was cool. That actually worked for the character. Right. It yeah. was everything else. It was the fact that he gets the black suit and never really uses it that much. You know, he never uses his potential. It, it wasn't this slow sort of boil. Again, if it was two movies, he gets the black suit in the middle of the third movie right at the end, and then all through the fourth one, he would have it take control and then turn into an asshole or whatever else. That didn't happen here. It was the fact that you had a Sandman Venom team up happen within literally something that they wrote a scene. Well, we need, we need to figure out a way to get Venom and Sandman to team up. I know. We'll have them meet randomly on the street, talk for 10 seconds about why we should team up, and there's your team up. Yeah. It was literally that fucking lame. Yeah, that's know. garbage. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's rare to hear a director come it's out rare and, to hear. and admit that and, he really didn't like it. I mean, when I think of stuff like that <laughs> happening... Uh, Fincher, I guess, Alien Three. Oh yeah, is, well, that is, was but but notorious. but but, but it, it, with Fincher, it's not even so much he'll come out and say he hates it. Uh, it's basically like if you bring that up to Fincher, he's gonna punch you in the throat and walk <laughs> away. I mean, he hates that movie. Yeah, that's a. I still have to see the director's cut for that. Oh, excuse, they've been saying the DVD cover. It's not a director's cut. They yeah, 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 I know. Because Fincher doesn't want any involvement, but it's like a half hour longer and entirely it, it's, different. Yeah, it's. You know. <laughs> but I can't, I can't what's, even what's, get worked what's out. What's interesting about, that about right this is that people forget that. They wanted to fast track a Spider-Man four mm -hmm. with the original cast right after this, and put and he wanted to do the Vulture, but then when it came to the fact that like Sony wanted to do the Vultress, and it was supposed to be Anne Hathaway supposedly as the Vultress, and that's when Raimi said enough. 
I am fucking done. <laughs> yeah. He basically said that. He probably could have got... And even Raimi and Raimi and everyone else walked. Yeah. Because a fourth film might have redeemed it somewhat, but not with the direction that they were going with the producers. Uh, Avia Red wanted to put in Venom, and then at that point, they just wanted toys. Yeah. <laughs> they don't realize that you, if you make a good superhero film, you're going to sell a fuckload of toys anyway. Yeah. It, it, putting in more characters isn't necessarily going to sell you more toys. Right. That's going to be the least of your concern. The least, you can make a good movie so that people see it and see it multiple times. When they made Guardians of the Galaxy recently, they didn't throw in extra characters just so they can sell more toys. Obviously, there were characters there. They said, let's make a good movie and make right. sure we get a sequel. Not kill the franchise and have to reboot it. Mm-hmm. And then right. have to kill it again. 